In this video, I'll give you a quick demonstration of how to test drive your API inside Represent API Studio using the mock service and example messages. Example messages serve to document what a well-formed response would look like. They're also used by the mock service so we can interact with the API and see how it looks and feels from the outside. I'll quickly load the pet store with examples project, which has some example messages already added to it. Now that the example API model has loaded, let's look at the available resources and methods using the Swagger UI view. The model has three methods, one for listing all the pets in the store, one for adding new pets, and one for getting information about a specific pet by ID. Let's look at each method in turn to see how example messages are added to response definitions. The get method on the pets resource has an example message defining an array of pets added to the 200 response in YAML format. As per the Swagger OpenAPI specification, the example message could also be expressed in JSON format, like this. If you use YAML format in the example, the mock service will convert it to JSON for you, as we'll see in a moment. The conversion also happens in the documentation view, as we can see here. If the media type is XML, the mock service will add the XML file header to the response body. Note that the mock service will treat example messages with a media type other than JSON or XML as plain text and simply return the message as is. To test drive the API defined in this model, all we need to do now is start the mock service for it like this. You can check that the mock service has started OK by looking at the console output. Because the console is minimized when we start the mock service, it appears as a pop-up window. If we want to keep the console visible, we can restore it like this. And, like any Eclipse window, you can minimize, maximize, restore, and dock the window wherever you like. You can even float it as a separate window, even on a separate monitor. A mock service is now running on the local machine. Notice that the console output includes URLs at the beginning. We can copy and paste these into the address bar of our browser like this. And we can use any other API testing tool, including the built-in Swagger UI view here. I've added a patch method to the object resource so that I can update information for a specific pet. It uses a path parameter to identify the pet to be updated, and a body parameter with a JSON object to supply properties that need to be updated for a particular pet. I'll open the patch method in Swagger UI, provide a pet ID of 1, and add JSON just for the properties I wish to update, in this case, the name. Now I'll press the Try It Out button, and here we can see the JSON response, which has been created from the YAML example message for this response. Thanks for watching this short demonstration of testing in Represent API Studio. Please see the other videos in this series for information on related topics.